are the talking sports fans let's talk sports so this is just a summary of West Ham's 3-2 win against Crystal Palace I have to say they kept the role running uh, dominant performance by West Ham none other than Thomas Suchik who completely sums up West Ham's identity under David Moyes hard working and reaps the rewards of his effort with two goals and uh, you have to say Crystal Palace really wasn't their organisational in defence and he just pounced both with the first when there was a fantastic ball through from Fornells to Antonio he just crossed it in and no one picked him up from a Crystal Palace defence to equalise and make it 1-1 and then later on he pounced on a free kick by Creswell Antonio couldn't connect and Suchek cushioned it with his thigh and hammered it home and then to take West Ham into the lead and then with even no chance after chance Antonio hit the post two times and it just wasn't his day missing although had a very good performance leading the line Dawson comes in and heads in a press for a it has to be said Dawson has really found his niche in this defence next to a bonner and they're just your typical David Moyes workman like centre halves powerful and dominant I did have concerns that Eze and Sahar would be maybe show the flaws in Dawson's game and I thought that might have tested them but he really put particularly Sahar in his pocket and he really couldn't handle Dawson and let's talk it how it is he had a temper tension about it and as they the same looked ordinary the full backs was also dominant Soufal and Creswell getting forward putting balls in and defensively was rock solid Declan Rice was world class himself who will be like now Lampard's gone a new signing almost because it increases the chances that West Ham, if they can keep this run going, maybe try and convince him to stay at least for another season. Bowen didn't do much offensively, but worked hard as always. Ben Rama, this was his other arrived the game. Although he didn't score, run rings round the defence, and I think he's truly bought into David Moyes's system and here's a David Moyes player now hence why they made it permanent to try and make the Lingard move work he just has really adapted his game to not just be a luxury player but to work hard for now it has looked very decent the last month better offensively not just his normal work rate. He's a very fit defender and he looks so much better with Antonio there. And he's always been a favourite of mine. I like what he brings to the team. Now, we're getting to the end of this. But West Ham climbed into the Champions League places after this. And could we dream of a Europa League space? We shall see. And I think... If nothing else, this side, what started here, has cemented itself as the first choice 11. I think playing for now allows Ben Rama to do the attacking and cover when needed. They offer something good down at left front, give Chris Will the cover he needs to adapt for some of his frailties and work in tandem together 
Tell me what you guys think down below. I really would love to hear from all of you. And thank you for listening. You've been talking to Desk Talk Sports. Thank you.